All right. Hey, Gemini. So I'm doing your guys' uh, What's Your Magic read. <clears throat> Hopefully this will give you insight to your uh, magical gift or um, at least activate or hone into the skill you already know that you embody. We're, we're not limited to one magical gift. I just want to point that out. So if you don't resonate with what I pull, feel free to check any major planetary placement in your chart. And we're just going to start it with a, um, a magical spell card. Um, card number 11 coming through with passion. Rise, passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. All right. And um, we're going to pull your energy as of late, as well as the Archangel coming through. <clears throat> so that's going to, that'll be how you know that this is uh, going to be your read. This is how it resonates with you. All right. <clears throat> so for Gemini, your energy as of late. Ooh. King of Gabriel, so Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Shamu Shamuel. All right. <clears throat> so we have King of Gabriel coming through as generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leap the details to others. Experience that that leads that experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others and 12 coming through card 12 coming through with perspective with Archangel um, Shamuel. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. Okay. Um, perspective would be a uh, kind of like that hanging man card. So you got the hanging man and the King of Gabriel. And I feel like your energy just as of late, just kind of puts you, maybe you're feeling stagnant energy. Maybe things are not moving. Things are not progressing. Um, but it's like you're right there in your energy, but the whole world's shifting around you. Um, it, it's not shifting. All right. So I feel like what your angels and your, your spirit guides are saying to you is to check, kind of change your perspective on how you're seeing that because you're in the inner energetic zone all right to experience positive shift all right but i feel that something's coming through with the way you're looking at things uh so a, a perspective a change a change of perspective perception um and two you guys know that the um the hanging man always has that um, light around his head and that's um inspiration that's activation that's also um um clues to your own spiritual path your own spiritual journey all right so i'm going to pull a card to this is going to be an activation card but it's for your subconscious so just when i pull the card if i you would just look at it and just kind of take in all the details that you're looking at okay All right, so you got the uh, sacral portal, creativity, intimacy, and inhibition. All right, so just kind of look at that card coming through. So there's going to be something um, highly intriguing about the sacral too. I want to tell you guys, if you haven't done it, a clearing or a blockage uh, <clears throat> or an alignment, and I'm going to say for all chakras, but um, and, and put, set an intention on the sacral. All right, the sacral porter. Um, is your creativity, your intimacy, your inhibitions. And um, that right there, the uh, inspiration is going to put you in that alignment with the King of Gabriel, the King of Wands. All right. So I'm going to pull from the Starseed Oracle deck just to see what cards come through to help you along the journey. All right, you have earth, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to say you guys probably already kind of identify that you're not of this world. Um, this is the starseed tarot. So you could highly resonate with star beings and the, um, you know, trying to look into your own lineages. And um, I have uh, in my in my um, about me section, my email if you guys want a starseed origins reading, um, I can't do them for free. 
because of how extensive they are. But if you want more insight and to, to show which star tribe you connect with, I would be happy to help you with that. Um, but learning how to be human in the world, but not of it is coming through um, tremendously. And I feel that that's where a lot of your inspiration comes through too. So make sure um, that you guys are asking your own star seed family to come in and help. And wow, you got the blue flame coming through. Spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. All right. So this is to help you along your journey. This is saying right here um, to go into meditation. There's meditations on YouTube with um, work on that blue flame. All right. The blue flame, um, here's what I'm going to say, Gemini, a lot of you guys could uh, actually resonate with the Syrian starseed tribe, um, and the Syrians, um, they, they are always working with the, the blue flame, and a lot of the, not a lot of them, but the Syrian tribe is um, blue-bodied beings, okay? Um, so some of you guys who, who heavily resonate with Syrians, ask, ask them to come in for help. Um, Jesus, Arcing, you know, Ascended Master Jesus Christ, um, Mary Magdalene. All right, they'll come through and help too to to set you on the path that that you know is where you're supposed to be at. Those are awesome. I feel too some of you guys are going to be experiencing an ascension and activation. Um <clears throat> Some of you guys could have spontaneously um, awoken, and that's kind of how what happened to me. Mine was pretty spontaneous, uh, you know. Um, really, I, I, I mean, I guess to tell you a little bit of my story, I got a DUI and a wreck uh, totaled my truck, and you know, I, I was just instantly thinking of the kids that I have and who I could have, the the life that I could have. Um, you know, I could have taken away somebody's life with the vehicle that I wrecked into. Thankfully, my kids were not in the car. I wasn't drunk driving with kids, but just kind of a flash before my very eyes, man. Um, dark night of the soul for a few weeks there, too. Just thinking of everything that I've worked so hard to accumulate and how, how, I, my, how I've grown myself, you know. And it, it was pretty intense. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's not the near-death experience that most people have had, but, <clears throat> or that people have experienced, but still it was a shakeup for me. And that's how some of you guys could have just spontane spontaneously um, awoken in that, that sense to, oh, time to change my life around, right? <clears throat> wow. You guys are coming through with some very, very strong energy. I'm going to say that. So... Um, your magic is coming through with radical expansion. And that is just, I mean, just right here, that blue flame, that spontaneous awakening. All right. That's, that's huge, man. You guys um, are very, very much connecting um, <clears throat> to the beings um, that, that are supposed to be here for you. All right. So radical expansion. I think I said expression. I, I'm sorry, but radical expansion um, this is coming through as your magic card. So living and loving at full capacity, being unapologetically you, self-expression, boldness, having a voice, taking up space, expansion, empowerment, and owning your true power, being visible in the world and having fun with your magnificence, letting go of judgment, creative exploration, exploration, and radical ways of being. <clears throat> so what would it be like to love and live and feel at full capacity? Do you imagine what it would be like? This card is truly um, about being your unapolo unapologetic self. The gifts you think are too bold for this world that that um, the gifts you you think are too bold for this world and those heartfelt experiences you believe you should hold back on um, might just light someone up. So the physical self expression that you dole down so that you fit in and those dreams um, that seem too vast could precisely be what the world is waiting for. All right, so do you feel you have the right to take up space? Our auras can expand mindfold, but we choose to keep them in tight inside of our body, um, maybe for safety. But this is what construct is, um, which we have imprisoned ourselves. Where does this subtle or not so subtle shame come from? Why not dance our most beautiful dance and dress in a way that makes us feel magnificent um, and seeing so our voices can be heard? Considering the paradigm of our judgments and others can help us expand into authentic expression. We may not be aware of the thoughts we were in, that were imprinted um, in us from a young age, though through our parents, teachers, and society, all right, separation and limitation begin with your beliefs around what is acceptable. Um, 
and what is not. So connection and possibility coming through um, for you. And it says to own your power, embrace your own responsibility to be more visible in the world and do not shy away from life. So right here, this card says it's time for expansion. Um, you know, you can be as big as your energy wants to be. Stop and consider anything that is holding you back. This card is the permission slip that allows you to let go of limiting stories and take up all the space you need. Have fun unleashing who you are, a bold, radical, um, as a bold and radical being, some of your ideas or offerings might be, but who's to say that they are not what the world is waiting for or what the world is want, what the world wants. Take note of any judgment of authentic expression towards yourself or others and be mindful that creatively exploring unrefined expression may be what is needed right now. So with this card right here, you guys have, um, I'm going to tell you this, you need to start paying attention to your dreams and any anything that comes through meditation when you're going through meditation, but get a dream journal, all right, because you're going to have stuff that starts showing up in dreams if you don't already have like a book of ideas that you have not shared with anyone. Um, it's time to start sharing those ideas. So what it's like this, you guys are, are here, you're here to show the world something and I, I truly, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting like, you're here to create something for humanity. You have ideas, you have a book, you have, um, you have something, um, within you that's waiting to come out, but it's like, you're, you're worried about what people think maybe in the past even, um, but it's time to bring your ideas. Um, it, it's, it's time to start bringing your, your ideas into fruition because some, somebody, somebody here, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like you're going to be well known by something that you introduce to our, our world and to society. And it's time for you to start tapping into that. Ask your spirit guides, ask your angels um, to help you. All right. If you have no ideas, if you have nothing going on in there, it's time to pay attention to your dreams. All right. Um, this card right here is saying you have something to offer the world that the world needs to see. You are here to be known. Okay. And it's because of the way that you're going to help people. I feel that your connection right here is truly going to be um, a vision that that's going to help people um, no matter what it is. If it's a, a, if it's a book, if it's a gadget, if it's a gadget, it's going to be something to help. And if you guys have those ideas, it's time to unleash those ideas. All right. So, um, <clears throat> your um the tool for connecting to the divine is coming through as awakened awareness all right and with awakened awareness um you are coming through as being able to see beyond the veil clearing distortion and illusion awareness of running of what's running us subconsciously communing with our god force energetic sovereignty growth outside of your comfort zone and the collective awakening all right um so i this right here is is going to be something that connects you right there you guys could actually already be like so in tune that you know how to connect right right there above in meditation um to ask I, here's what i'm going to say all right as a side note some of you guys could be so spiritually connected that you you um you have the capabilities to um astral plane right ask astral travel right up to the um the ascended masters all right and and with that um special um access what you're doing is you're giving um you're giving information of of what you see what of what your perception is going on in the world or happening around you and they in turn give you information and and gifts and knowledge all right to bring back to you so you just really need to start paying attention all right physical uh, reality is the tip of the iceberg and the tapestry we see at surface level is just a fraction of what is going on um, awakened awareness can take place when we start to look between the lines at reoccurring themes aspects and symbols that gain our intuitive intuition and these are keys to a hidden overarching plan and greater weaving this oracle um, speaks to the deeper nature behind all what we can know with our eyes. So uh, again, if, if it's like a book and you guys are are um, really able to uh, see outside of the matrix and place yourself outside of the matrix, even seeing this eyeball, all right, as, as your consciousness and looking at the entire world around you as your own movie, I feel that some of you guys have the creative knowledge to write a book in such a way that would make people understand what the matrix is and how we can become how we can move outside of that matrix okay that that this is not going to resonate with everyone gemini 
So I may have already lost some of you guys, but the, for those who, who, who are here, what I feel this is happening is you're actually able to see um, yourself um, as a vision, as this eyeball, right? Outside of the world. And everything that's going on in the world is a part of your consciousness. So you're truly, truly able to see how we all connect as one. And I feel like you're going to be able to put that in such a way in words that people can understand without having to, you know, smoke a bunch of weed or do DMT or whatever it is. Um, I, I resonate with this and I'll tell you guys, um, Gemini, um, I, I'm not trying to put my personal business out there, but I, I, I've, I've smoked a couple of times, um, you know, just marijuana and it's made me, I mean, the, the first time I did it and after so many years, um, it, it created this, but I feel that there's a, an easier way for this to be done. If, if people had simple knowledge of something, if there was something to read, even that was in simplified terms, um, it would, I feel like it would pull in that much more awakening, all right, to earth. And that's where we're supposed to be at. Um, <laughs> I hope that there's still at least two of you sitting here and I don't sound like a complete weirdo. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the card that's coming through to connect with your spirit guides um is our ancestral or our ancient our ancient future our ancient future and again this is tying in so smoothly with where how okay you guys know that there is no there's no such thing as time right there is there's really no such thing as time and our ancient future i mean you whoever is here has the capabilities to see into the future see future versions of of life and ourselves as well as go back in time all right i feel like for whoever is here astral travel is going to be something that resonates significantly and i feel like you're one of the ones that can go back and forth and see this being in your 3D body, because this is the dimension that you chose to be in. Wisdom from indigenous peoples, ancestors holding the keys for the future, ancient remembering, bloodlines, and how the past affects the future. Time to step up, timeless power symbols and activations for powerful shifts. You guys are truly coming through with some some really good um, messages here in this read. This is going to be huge for, for you guys. And the fact that you embody and have this gift is going to be humongous because this is where everything, this is what every single person in the world needs to know is how to come out of the matrix, how to see past, uh, you know, the matter, how to see past the physical, um, this, um, spirituality, um, uh, spirituality, um, politic politics, um, and science, man, all tying into one. And I feel like for whoever's here, you guys have such a unique gift that you're going to be able to put this in terms or, or an app or anything. Um, I don't know, you know, I just feel like you guys are here and you're going to show humanity in such a way, um, how to actually realize what, what life is. Okay. Um, I, I don't even know how I would start to write a book about this, but I have so much information about it. I'm sure I sound probably crazy to everybody. All right, so I'm just going to pull um, an Ascended Master card to see which Ascended Master or energy is working, you guys are working with, or who you can call upon. You got the Palladian Starseed Tribe, the Pallades, all right? The Palladians are great healers. They love Earth and all who live on her. By drawing this card, you are being invited to open your heart to Palladian healing. Let them enfold you in their loving healing blue lights, right? Palladies, Syrians, um, so that when their wisdom and gifts flow into you, so that their wisdom and gifts flow into you. When you have absorbed these qualities into your energy fields, pass them on to others. Remember that the animals who come from the Palladians... The Pallades are sheep, pandas, and pigs, um, and they heal people and the land. Bless them and honor them um, for their work on our planet. And your affirmation is, I open my heart to love and healing from the Pallades. Um, the blue and the violet lights, you guys, are going to be uh, really significant. That's probably why you see all of these colors in these cards, because it is um, significant for healing um, especially from the star beings in those higher dimensions. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please uh, let me know by commenting or liking the video so I can know to keep on doing these if that's something that you guys want to see.